Oh, whoops. So uh, we're, we're going to talk about uh, Last Night in Soho. I didn't put that in the uh, title, though, so I just wanted to mention that. Scatter Brothers will be doing that in a second. I'm just going to put on mute because we need to find out uh, what we can't say. But in the meantime, this is the quarry in uh, San Antonio, Texas, the quarry theater. And uh, I'm Scatter Breaker, and we're going to meet with Scatter Parkers in a second. We're going to do a review of Last Night in Soho, no spoilers. Okay, mute. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we've discussed what we can't say. <laughs> about... is it, what time is it? Oh, it's 12.34. So maybe, well, that's a little bit longer than uh, we thought. Maybe, hmm. yeah. Ready? Um, yeah, so we watched uh, last... Wait. Last Night in Soho. Last Night in Soho. And... Uh, and um, uh, this was my second viewing, but I think uh, my first. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of like it's one that you see differently the second time. Yeah. In a, in, in a way. Um, and I guess I almost feel like I should uh, let you talk about it first, since it was your first time seeing it. But uh, oh, at the same time. Um, I feel like ever since you told me what you thought about French Dispatch, I've been liking it less and less in my head. <laughs> well, and another thing too is I think I need to see it again for a second viewing because uh, I uh, uh, 
Like I went with it. I went with the <laughs> wife and like. Yeah. Like <laughs> the time she was falling asleep. Oh yeah. And then the you know and then she kind of like woke up and or you know. Oh and like, was like what was happened? Like, I, I don't understand a thing that was going on. What she did that? And then I started yeah. talking about well you got to like really. Oh, yeah. But there were I did notice things while I was watching it, like things that just weren't hitting like they did in the other ones. Oh yeah. Uh, like kind of cliche, like yeah, in a way. Anyway, but uh, this one. Uh, so you want me to start talking about it then? Um, Last night Soho, just so because uh, well, have your thoughts, right? Yeah. I, yeah, mean, I mean, you could go first. Just in general, I'll just say like um, I think uh, like it's kind of it was kind of cool how it was like broken up into parts where. Sort of like where parts where where it was like about a girl in Soho in the modern day, and then it became about the thing you see in the previews. I think like about her seeing this other girl's life and uh, and her experience in the '60s in Soho. Yeah, and uh, and it's an Edgar Wright film, and um, and uh, so and I thought and it, it had really good music in it, but at the same time it was like. I was almost kind of expecting a little bit of some punk or something like that in there as well, you know, because of the, uh, just because of like Baby Driver. I oh yeah, like, but I mean, it's, it was 60s music, so. No, I know, but also the modern day, you know, like when, oh, when it goes to the modern day and then there's like a, like a modernized pop version of like, uh, downtown. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like there could have been a better choice there, but. Yeah, but then again, you like hard rock, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna always opt for that. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. So you didn't think he was use of uh, music? It wasn't as effective, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Well, Baby Driver had a different feel, though. Yeah. Baby Driver was fast, fast moving. Like. Uh, yeah. You know, Cape kind of film where they were trying to get away and they were. You know, so. <laughs> okay. But, um. Uh, well, I, I thought it was actually <laughs> like, what was this, not recording? No, no, um, I'm going on Scatterbreaker as like, last day in, in stock. Like I couldn't get the autocorrect to work, so it's like, instead of last night in Soho, it's like, last day in, in stock or something oh. like that, I don't know. Um, well, I, uh, I, I thought, uh, I kind of figured, like the movie kind of went along as you see it in the preview the whole time. Yeah. But uh, I thought the, the, you know, the set design and the, the, the feeling of going back in the 60s was cool, especially the 60s. Yeah. Uh, but it was really about a girl living sort of through another girl. Yeah. But it had horror elements and it had like... Yeah. Uh, not that it was, there was anything scary, but nothing scares me anymore. Yeah. It, it was described as a horror and psychological horror and... Yeah, and actually, for a while, I thought it was kind of like a, uh, kind of like a, uh, uh, just a, a social issue horror in a way, like just a, just how people like treat each other, how, how yeah, horrific just other. life is in general. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Oh, I'll take advantage. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, but uh, but I thought it was really original, and I thought, and I, you know, you know, didn't really see. Although I was thinking at the time, this is a little like somewhere in time. <laughs> is it what? Remember somewhere in time? Oh yeah, rooms, yeah. Where he would fall asleep in that hotel room, and in that hotel room, he could like live a life, of, like yeah, like with all these like. So I was th- I was thinking about that while I was watching it. Yeah, that yeah, I, you know that actually that come came to my mind as well. Yeah. Summer time came, yeah. came to my mind. I think one time when she woke up in the bed. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, that reminded me of that. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah cause it was almost kind of like possessing someone in the past, right? Yeah, it was kind of like he was living another life. Although, well, in that one, he where, where are we? stayed himself. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang, why is this Sometimes I feel like I, I get... Like, as I've gotten older, like, I, uh... Oh, no! See as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my seatbelt is broken. Okay, I got it. Dude, Dang. why don't you use that, that thing? Oh, I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten it out yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. I set that shit up, dude. Um, what I do okay. know, though, is that girl... 
the girl, she's really pretty. She yeah. played in uh, Jojo Rabbit. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's been in a few other things, but, like, it is not a good idea to go after her, to, like, to pursue her. Yeah. Because that didn't work out too much great for the kid. It didn't really work out too great for the creepy old man. Yeah, I don't even remember uh, Jojo Rabbit very much, yeah. I guess. Uh, can't remember what happens with the kid. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about this one. This solo. Oh, okay, and hopefully that didn't give anything away. But, like, it doesn't really. It just... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not really. Yeah. Yeah, no spoilers here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very general terms. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't uh, know. Yeah, anyway. But I did uh, like it. I like the originality. I mean, I like the uh, storyline. Yeah. And I thought the twists at the end were some of them I kind of predicted, but others I was like, oh, that's it's different than I predicted. Yeah. It's kind of got elements of what I predicted, but not. So yeah. Like, you don't really kinda, expect it necessarily. Yeah, some of it was like, oh, uh, that's a weird angle. Or, that's a different angle. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, and also. Uh, and it was done very cinematically as well. Like it was a yeah. good cinematic movie too. Oh like, yeah. Um, uh, the in fact, I was like on parts. I was like, this seems like it was almost made for three D. <laughs> right. Yeah. But uh, when the hands are reaching out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like come on. Yeah, like there was a lot of scenes that were like shot, and that and the shots, the angle that they chose would have been really great in three D. Well, I wonder how but, it would have changed the dynamic of the movie too. Yeah, it would it have made it more scary. In those I don't know. scenes because the scenes you're talking about are like kind of the worst. Yeah. Where she's haunted. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I feel like a movie, there, there could be like a movie that's like, um, like sometimes in 3D and sometimes not. You just keep wearing the glasses. Well, it kind of 